This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Espirito Santo is Portugal's biggest bank by market value, but General Manager Moses Dodo says that's not good enough. The bank is opening a unit in New York as part of its strategy to generate profits in the new world. Moses, welcome. It's good to have you with us. Thanks Thank for coming in. Thank Explain a little bit about why is Espirito Santo Investments, why is it opening a branch in the United States now? Well, it's all about connecting the dots. The bank has achieved a position in its own core market that cannot be, you know, the growth, uh, it's uh, limited by the size of the country. So for us, it's very natural to move to, the, to, to offshore markets. And New York is very, very important uh, as a center of distribution of product for Iberia and Latin America, our core geographies. All right. So would you be focusing as a result on uh, on investments, let's say, in Brazil, for example? Brazil, is that going to be, you're going to be flying back and forth to Brazil a lot, I presume. Absolutely. Absolutely. Brazil, it's a very important component of our strategy. Uh, New York is the center of competence for the Americas. Uh, our businesses, which are distribution of equities and fixed income, uh, cross-border M&A, and project finance, structured finance, uh, are a business that naturally have a component in the U.S., but also the U.S. It's a natural distribution center for this product, both for Iberia and Latin America, Brazil in particular. All right. Well, let's talk about some of those each individual areas. Let's start with the project of finance business. So what kind of uh, opportunities are you going to be looking for? Well, we, we, we concentrate in a few particular sectors, but we f feel we can add some value, and those are particularly energy, uh, specifically uh, renewables. Uh, we've been uh, doing project financing in the field of wind finance, for instance, uh, very strongly in Europe, in Portugal, and Spain uh, in, the, in the past uh, many years. And we think that we add some value here. We've done already a few transactions in this country. And, and we see that this is also a very good momentum uh, with the new administration and the stimulus package that focuses particularly in those sectors. Well, I was just going to ask you about that. Are you going to be trying to take advantage of some of these new initiatives uh, on the part of the administration? For example, Iberdrola Renewables, the, the Spanish-based uh, uh, utility company, with operations having made a big purchase uh, in New England and in New York State recently. Well, we, are, we can also add to that Horizon, which is a full subsidiary of, of EDP, the largest uh, power company in Portugal, who's now the second or third largest holder of, of renewable assets in the U.S. based in Houston. So there is a natural complement of all our clients from Euro, Europe and Iberia in particular uh, that are developing business in, uh, in this country as we speak. All right. So we talked about project finance. Now give me the picture in terms of fixed income. Is this going to be a distribution center for, yes. let's say, Brazilian fixed income products to uh, U.S. Uh, and global investors? Both Iberian, but particularly Brazilian uh, fixed income instruments are very important to us. The bank has a history of bringing uh, issuers from Brazil, uh, notably uh, medium-sized banks, into the euro bond market. And, uh, and the U.S. is a, a strong uh, distribution center for this product. But we also develop products which are specifically to the needs of institutional investors uh, in, in all sorts of fix, fixing, some fixed income instruments, uh, such as, you know, uh, structured notes or credit link notes, products that, that cater to a specific clientele. And, and we have the, the advantage of having a strong presence in countries like Brazil, uh, which makes us a local player bringing product to the U.S. All right. Well, I want to thank you very much, Moses Dodo, General Manager of Espirito Santo Investments, uh, giving us some insight and details as to the new business unit that you're establishing here. And best of luck to you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Look forward to having you back.